This conversation is powered by Google Illuminate. Check out illuminate.google.com for more. Welcome to the discussion. Today, we're diving into a fascinating paper titled Relating Blindsight and AI, a review. It explores the unusual phenomenon of blindsight, a condition where individuals with cortical blindness can still process visual information unconsciously and how studying it might offer insights for improving artificial intelligence. What's the core argument of this paper? The paper's central argument is that the difference in visual task performance between humans and current AI models might be partly explained by the presence or absence of visual experience. Humans, even those with blind sight, possess some level of visual experience, while AI models currently lack this. By analyzing how blind sight affects visual processing, the authors aim to identify potential improvements for AI. That's intriguing. Can you elaborate on what visual experience means in this context? How does it differ between humans and AI? The paper distinguishes between phenomenal consciousness, P consciousness, the subjective experience of seeing and access consciousness, A consciousness, the ability to use information for higher order thought and action. Humans with normal vision possess both. Blind sight patients have A consciousness, but impaired P consciousness. AI models, according to the paper, lack both, performing visual tasks without any subjective experience. So blind sight patients can process visual information without consciously seeing it. What kinds of visual tasks can they perform, and how does their performance compare to those with normal vision? Blind sight patients show varying levels of ability in tasks like locating visual stimuli, judging motion, discriminating colors and objects. Their accuracy is generally lower than those with normal vision, but they often perform above chance levels, indicating some level of unconscious processing. What are some of the key differences in performance between blind sight patients and those with normal vision that the paper highlights? The paper emphasizes that blind sight patients struggle with tasks requiring fine detail processing, such as identifying object boundaries or complex emotions in faces. They also require higher stimulus intensity and duration for accurate responses compared to individuals with normal vision. The paper suggests that these performance differences might be linked to visual attention. How does visual attention play a role in both blind sight and AI? The authors propose that visual attention is crucial for selecting stimuli for further processing and entering conscious awareness. In blind sight, impairments in attention might prevent information from reaching higher level processing stages, leading to reduced accuracy. Similarly, AI models might benefit from incorporating more sophisticated attention mechanisms to better select relevant information. The paper discusses several AI models that incorporate uh, attention mechanisms. Can you briefly summarize some of these approaches? The paper reviews three main branches of AI models with attention mechanisms. Those using hard or soft attention, top-down or bottom-up attention, and transformer-based models. Transformer models in particular have shown great success in various visual tasks due to their ability to model long-range dependencies. And what about the use of graph neural networks and saliency maps in AI vision models? Graph neural networks leverage the structured relationships between objects in an image to improve performance. Saliency maps, which mimic human eye fixations, can guide attention mechanism, focusing processing on the most relevant image regions. The paper cites studies showing that incorporating pre-trained saliency models can improve object classification accuracy. So the paper suggests that incorporating mechanisms related to visual attention and experience inspired by the study of blind sight could lead to improvements in AI vision models. What are some of the potential implications of this research? The research suggests that focusing on attention mechanisms and potentially mimicking aspects of human visual experience could lead to more robust and accurate AI vision systems. It also highlights the value of 
interdisciplinary research, drawing insights from neuroscience to advance AI. Are there any limitations to the paper's findings or suggestions? While the paper presents a compelling argument, it's important to note that the relationship between visual experience and AI performance is complex and not fully understood. More research is needed to fully explore the implications of the author's insights. Furthermore, directly translating biological mechanisms into AI models is challenging. The paper mentions the global workspace theory, GWT. How does GWT relate to the discussion of consciousness and attention in both blindsight and AI? GWT posits that consciousness arises from the broadcasting of information to a central workspace in the brain. The paper suggests that in blindsight, impaired attention might prevent information from reaching this workspace, limiting conscious awareness and performance. In AI, a similar mechanism might be implemented to improve information processing and decision making. The paper also touches upon the idea of pre-training AI models to improve their attention mechanisms. How does this relate to the human brain's inherent advantages? Humans benefit from pre-existing knowledge encoded in their DNA, which influences their learning process. Similarly, pre-training AI models on tasks related to attention could provide a foundation for better performance on more complex visual tasks. This is analogous to the human brain's inherent biases and pre-wired attention mechanisms. What are some of the next steps or future research directions suggested by this paper? The authors suggest further research to validate their insights, particularly exploring the impact of other aspects of visual experience on AI performance. They also advocate for continued interdisciplinary collaboration between neuroscience and AI. This has been a very informative discussion on the intriguing connection between blindsight and AI. Thank you.